All right, today we're going to be looking at the issue on this particular head. Behind this piece of metal, we have a solenoid, which when it actuates, releases a latch. If the adjustment of this is not quite right, it can be sticky and not actually start stitching, which is what we're finding with this head. There's a couple of things we need to bear in mind. One is that there's a gap between the nose and the nose here of about one millimetre. So that is a setting that we need to ensure that we retain as we adjust. We also need to make sure that we don't twist off parallel the arm of the solenoid. So our adjustment is to loosen these two hex which allows that plate to move in all directions and in all angles. And you can see the nose is able to be lifted and lowered as I rotate and also as I move left and right the tip of the nose is also moving. So where we want this to end up is for it to remain parallel, for this to be on its upper limit and for this gap to remain around one millimetre. Which just takes a little bit of fiddling. And the reason on this one, this is one of the heads we just recently rebuilt, the reason this one's got an issue is because the rubber ring is just putting a little bit more downwards pressure that's not enough there, it's quite loose. It's taken the looseness out of it. It should be able to pull off and our gut needs to remain about that one millimetre gap. That would be fine. And that is the adjustment. It's just brought a little bit of movement back in there, so it's just racking. seeking a little bit in the holes there. Beautiful. Job done. Perfect. So we should check that every time that we replace the top cushion ring on a head as we service it. Um, over and out.